Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the versatile Fulani flip over braids. Um, I already did a couple rows of knotless in the back. And right here, I am just demonstrating how to do it in general, um, how to create a knotless boho braid. When it comes to boho braids, you pretty much can decide how much curly hair you want to feed throughout the braid. The type of hair that I'm using is the Free Tress Beach Curl Crochet Like Hair. And the type of um, braiding hair I'm using is Expressions Color 1B Pre-Stretched Hair. Um, you can pretty much get any type of length you want because it all depends on who you are and what type of length you desire. You start off with a braid and like I said, you could pretty much freestyle the curls into the braid. You can either add it in as you're feeding in the hair, or you can do it towards the ends, or you can just make it where it's towards the ends. In this hairstyle, I did not leave any hair, curly hair at the ends. I'm going to simply curl them with perm rods, but throughout the hair, I am adding, as you can see, the boho curl look which is the beach curl i am adding that as i braid but again i did not add that same curly breech curl at the end because i just um didn't want to but it's all up to you on how you want to do it i feel like when you add it to the end it can get ratty very quickly i pretty much think that you'll get the same look when you just curl the ends i feel like when you just curl the connect line here alone it makes it last a lot longer as far as curl pattern and it doesn't get all ratty this is not human hair this is synthetic hair because they all mat up over time it's just this curl type is way better than any other curl type when it comes to adding it to braids Now that the top is complete, you can see I kind of created the design already, which is something you want to do when creating any type of design. You want to make sure that you pre-braid just the design that you want and then you can just take it down as you go and actually do the braid. I think this helps with knowing how to do a certain per person's head and how their shape is or whatever the case may be. It actually helps with seeing how the look will be fulfilled so that is why i created the look before i started the actual braids because it just helps the time go faster so if you do this style i would advise you to map out the style and do the design and then go back and add in the hair and actually do the actual braid and it's pretty much self-explanatory as far as the visual on how this style goes you pretty much just 
do the half up half down leave the back out and put braids and then at the top you do a triangle and you go from there and then you make the cornrows and you can pretty much pick whatever design you want you just want to make sure you have different slots for knotless as you can see after this braid that I am doing I'm finishing it up but once you see me get to the next braid you want to be able to add in order for it to turn out to look like that flip method you want to add some knotless throughout the top on certain parts which you'll see soon when you do the triangles at the top I would have to say make sure you're not making the braids too thick and too heavy these are just little triangles and you don't want it to weigh a whole lot and you just slowly feed it in so this is the part that i'm saying where you need to have three because this part will be able to flip over and yeah and i hope you enjoy the rest of this video i'm not gonna bore you anymore with my voiceover but i hope you enjoy it make sure you subscribe hit that like button um, leave a comment. Let me know if you tried this hairstyle. If you like this hairstyle, this hairstyle is fire. I literally could not stop looking at it when I got done. And also, if you have any questions, leave them at the bottom in the comment section below, and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye.
Chew it. 